Under the Rainforest, written by Kate Messner, with art by Christopher Silas Neal. Over and under the rainforest, into the rainforest we hike, through slivers of sunlight and dripping wet leaves. Up in the trees, there's a symphony of sound, chatters and chirps and a howling roar. What's up there? I whisper. Up in the trees? Tito asks. And this is a beautiful illustration of what you would see if you look up. Up in the trees is a whole hidden world, a riot of monkeys and insects and birds. We're hiking under them now. Up in the trees are appendulas gurgle in low swinging nests. Toucans croak and bicker over breakfast. Down in the forest, I follow Tito along the trail while agoutis search the ground for fallen fruit. So our append, sorry, our appendulas are these birds that have these low hanging nests and agoutis are kind of like big guinea pigs there. On to the footbridge we climb, up, up, up. Tito rests to catch his breath before we cross over the river below. Up in the trees, long-nosed bats sleep away the daylight, all in a row. Down on the bank, sleepy crocodiles bask in the sun. As we cross, an emerald basilisk races up us to the other side, barely skimming the river's surface. Tito and I laugh at his fast, funny legs and wish we could walk on water too. We scramble over roots and rocks, climbing higher into the trees. A poison dart frog makes his way up a trunk with a tadpole on his back. If you look really closely, that black spot is the tadpole, the baby. Our hanging bridge teeters and tips with every wobbly step. I keep a tight grip on the rail. We're eye to eye with capuchin monkeys. They hold on with arms and legs and tails, swinging through branches up here in the trees. This is so cool to be on a footbridge in the rainforest. My stomach grumbles and Tito reaches into his pack. We snack on dried mangoes and pineapple while the monkeys feast on wild almonds. Way down below, leafcutter ants march in a line, carrying bits of leaves and petals back to their nests. A long-snouted anteater snuffles along, sniffing for a meal of his own. The afternoon rain begins with a patter, a pitter soft drumming on the leaves up above. Soon it swells to a strong rushing pour and all the world feels dripping and wet. A blue morpho butterfly folds up her wings and tucks away on a tree trunk. High in the branches, a soggy mother sloth and her baby sleep through the storm. So there's the blue morpho butterfly. There's the sloth and baby. Deep in the forest, the rain lets up. A parrot snake races over the trail, long and slender and green. She's hunting frogs, Tito says, as the snake's skinny tail disappears in the leaves. Up in the trees, an eyelash palm pit viper hunts too, curled around a branch, patient and silent and still. High in the canopy, a furry dark shadow clings to a branch. Tito lifts his hands to his mouth and sends a roar to the sky. The forest waits, quiet. Then, roar, 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 comes the answer. A thunder of howler monkeys up in the trees. Their calls quiet down as the blue sky grows dark. Night falls fast in the forest. Our walk through the treetops is through. 
At the base of the bridge, an orb spider weaves her web, a golden tapestry that will catch moonlight and insects tonight. There's a sudden sharp snap and I freeze in my tracks, a crack of a branch, a long loud rustle, then quiet again. Maybe it's a jaguar walking to, waking to hunt. Night is her time for growling and prowling through the shadows of the rainforest floor. I run to catch up with Tito as we cross the last bridge to home. Abuelita will have supper waiting. Arroz con pollo, chicken and spices with rice. The sky grows dark and birds return to their nests. I spy a squirrel cuckoo, a woodpecker, a motmot, flying home through the trees. Their songs fade away as a choir of insects and rain fills the dusk. A night song of darkness and water and life over us, under us and all around. Look at that monkey swinging through the trees. And then this is a note from the author. What do you notice about that picture? She is on a footbridge in a rainforest. And it says, one of the best things about my job as an author is that I have opportunities to travel when I'm researching books. Of all the places I visited, the tropical rainforest of Costa Rica has been my favorite. Wow. Very cool. And then she has information about each of the different animals. There were a lot of fascinating exotic animals in this story. And there's a list for further reading if you want to know more about this and a list of her sources over and under the rainforest. I will say this 100% inspired me. I definitely want to go on this trip and walk on that footbridge. Add that to my bucket list. Over and under the rainforest.